Hey everyone, happy Friday. Ped's Card Collection back at you with another video. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing off some of my card show pickups that I got from my local card store when I was buying my box of 2020 Donruss Hobby Box. Um, kind of talked a little bit about it in my previous video. If you didn't see that, definitely go ahead and check that one out. Pulled a bunch of good cards, a lot of short prints, and... Um, an unbelievable autograph. Luckily enough, the day that the product was released was the first Wednesday of the month, which was the day that my card store has a little card show every time. So I didn't pick up as many cards as I did the first time. I ended up only spending about $30 this time, but I think I did pretty well with my pickups. I got some pretty sweet cards that um, are new to my collection and it's a mix of prospects and already some established players, but mostly prospects. So I'll get right to it. Um, the first little pickup that I made was this Eloy Jimenez first Bowman Chrome or not first it's first Bowman paper, but, uh, they looked like they were in fantastic condition and there was like a little box that it said, like a dollar per card or if you got six cards it was five dollars for the six cards so that's what i did and i ended up actually picking up four of these eloy jimenez first bowman papers um that's back when he was on the cubs before he got traded for quintana um so i got four of those bad boys a little nice pickup and then for the other two of the six cards i got the newest boston red sock first Bowman Chrome, both of Alex Verdugo. So this was, I th feel like this is a card that's uh, pretty reasonably priced right now. I mean, yet he he's obviously new to the league, but I think he has a lot of potential to um, increase in value, especially if he plays well. Uh, he's definitely gonna get a lot of opportunities for the Red Sox now that they lost Mookie Betts. So those were the first pickups I made. I uh, paid five bucks for all those six cards. Next pickup I made was uh, picked up this Anthony Rendon rookie card. Corners looked really sharp to me. Everything about it looked pretty solid. Uh, and I didn't have one. This was originally listed at eight bucks. I negotiated him down to five dollars. So picked this card up for five bucks. Thought that was a pretty reasonable price. Uh, he's about. I want to say 29 years old, so he's still got a lot of good years left in him. Obviously won the World Series last year. A uh, heck of a third baseman and one of the best hitters in the league. So this is one of the cards, um, one of the rookies over the past, I guess, decade or so that I hadn't had that I needed to pick up. So this is a 2013 update version of Anthony Rendon. And then the last pickup, which is by far the best, and I didn't even realize it at the time, but this card is absolutely insane. So we picked up a Luis Urias first Bowman Chrome blue refractor, blue mojo refractor, numbered out of 150 on card autograph. Uh, I'm not sure if I said the description of this card exactly right, but it's one of those really sweet on card first Bowman blue refractors. I don't know if it's called a prism or a blue wave or blue refractor mojo. Um, but I saw this card as I was pretty much, uh, finishing up looking at the tables. I was like, one of the tables had a bunch of high end cards and I kind of like brushed past that table. Cause I wasn't, well, I wasn't trying to spend like a hundred bucks, but there was a little box on the side. So when I came back around, I noticed like the box and I just glanced for a second and this card was on top and I was like, okay, We'll just flip it over, see how much it cost. And I, he, it was uh, labeled for 20 bucks. He peeled the sticker off, but it was, so I paid $20 for this card. And when I looked up what it's going for online, uh, the last two eBay purchases transactions went for 140 and $120 uh, ungraded raw. And a PSA 10 is going for about 230 bucks. So uh, I only paid $20 for this card, so I made out like a bandit. Uh, I'm probably going to send this to PSA for grading, hoping for a 10. It looks really sharp all around the corners. I'm yet to take it out of the one touch yet, but 
once the time comes, I will definitely do that. Um, so that was definitely my favorite pickup. And once again, I did a little, I did a little, uh, research for the eBay purchases. I made a little sheet from the cards, what I paid and what they're going for, uh, according to the current market. Uh, this, according to this, I, uh, am $114 and 56 cents in the green. So I think I did pretty well with this one. Uh, with my first card show, I was, I want to say 28 bucks in the green and I spent a, w uh, got a bunch more cards, way more money. So, uh, hopefully this is a sign of getting more frugal. I don't know if I think that's the right word or I'm getting, I don't know, just improving and just my knowledge of baseball cards and their values is hopefully getting better. Uh, I only try to buy a card if I really think it makes sense to me. Uh, as you can see, I only made a handful of purchases and I got all this for 30 bucks, which was a great deal. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm really happy about these purchases, especially this one after looking it up. He's only like 21 years old. He's a huge prospect for the Twins, great hitter. And um, I think he's one of the guys that people are starting to kind of pick up on that he could be something special. So that's awesome. And then we also won this little bonus pack in a raffle. Uh, I'll just open it up for you real quick before I let you all go. Don't really know what to expect in these. Looks like we got two cards, Dirk Nowitzki, now retired, and then we got a Kobe White rookie card. I think that's actually one of the decent ones, so that's kind of sweet. Um, yeah, but that does it. Thank you again, everybody, for tuning into my channel, watching this video. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're a first-time viewer, and definitely comment below. Let me know what you think of these pickups. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. So with that being said, happy Friday. I hope you all have a great weekend and happy collecting. I will talk to you soon. Take care.